guys, so today we're going to be talking about some of my Clash Royale balance change suggestions. Um, it's currently February 2023, and um, I made this video like four months ago in October. I think it's time to make a new one because there are some cards that I think deserve some balance changes, even though the meta right now is not too bad. Um... A lot of cards are pretty balanced, but there's still a few that I think deserve some changes, so let's just start right now. So my first one on the list is Archers. As everyone knows, um, they got a huge buff this February, and they're super fast. Their hit speed is just insane, and I do think they should have a little nerf. Not fully to how it used to be, because I do think they deserved a buff, but not this big of a buff. They're everywhere. Every deck I face has archers in it, and this just makes for a very expo dominant meta, and just archers dominant. It's just archers everywhere. So I think a small H not HP hit speed nerf would work, but not like. Don't nerf it all the way back to how they used to be, you know? Just nerf it a little bit. Because I do think they were going in the right direction, because archers definitely deserve a buff. But it's, they're basically almost like two dark goblins. That's just insane. So yeah, next we got a nerf to the hog rider. Guys, it's literally been almost a year, and we have seen no changes to the hog. I think it deserves an HP nerf. And a lot of people actually agree with me, because... It really shows that it's one of the most used cards in the whole game, and it's so HP, it's just so tanky, and doesn't die to, I think, does it die to Rocket? I don't even think it dies to Rocket, so, um, I just think a small HP nerf would definitely, um, balance this card out, and... Yeah, I think, I don't know why Supercell hasn't looked into this, but yeah. So next on the list, we got a nerf to the Royal Giant. So this one actually might be getting a nerf soon because it is on the Clash Royale watch list for bounce changes. So we might be seeing a nerf soon. Um, I don't know. I just feel like it's very, very tanky and has so much HP for Six Elixir. And honestly... If you don't have the right cards, it will always get a hit, at least one shot on your tower, so I feel like they should just nerf it slightly. If not, I don't know, I just, if not HP, maybe hit speed, I don't know, but I think it definitely is a super strong card and deserves a nerf. So next we got the Golden Knight, one of the strongest champions in the game right now. I think the dashing ability is broken, I said this in the last video. And I'm saying it now, the dashing is broken on this card. It will find a way to get to your tower. You can do anything. You can do everything in your power, and it will still hit your tower. Oh my god, that rhymed. But yeah, I feel like you could put it. You could put a building, not even within the dashing range, like to hit your tower, and it's still gonna hit your tower just because it was slightly closer to your tower. I guess because it was targeting your top it's so weird how it works like they just need to nerf that because it's just ridiculous all these golden knight dashes it will dash to like 10 different troops and it's just so op okay we got a nerf to the minor i know this was a joke a few months ago but it's actually not a joke anymore minor is a super strong card and one of the best win conditions in the game um minor is usually paired like with cycle cards it's usually in quick cycle decks so it's just endless miners to your tower and it's just guaranteed damage it's such a reliable wind condition um miner and poison synergize so well together and since it's cycle decks it's minor uh since miners and cycle decks it's just minor poison on your tower minor poison minor poison until your tower is gone and there's nothing you can do about it you know it's not too easy to predict miners so it's usually going to lock on your tower and yeah i just think it's like a really strong card for three elixir you know has good amount good amount of hp and i think i don't know what they would nerf about it maybe the hp maybe 
I don't know. I would really have to think about that. It's be. I don't know. I'm gonna think about that. But I. But it's obviously a super strong card. Okay, next we got a buff to the Mega Minion. This card doesn't really. I wouldn't say it really needs a buff, but after the Phoenix got introduced in the game, it just kind of shoved Mega ne- Mega Minion in the corner because Phoenix is just the better option when looking for a flying melee troop so i just feel like buffing the mega minion whether it's hp or hit speed or whatever damage um would really help um the mega minion thrive in the meta because why would you use the mega minion when phoenix just does it better you know so yeah that's what i think and the next we got a rework to the witch i said this in my last video and they still haven't really done anything so which is a very tough troop to kind of change because if you buff it it could just be terrifying because it's already like it's such a weird card because it can it's bad like it has horrible win rates but in certain situations the witch can get a lot of value and if you don't have the right cards like you know it doesn't die to fireball stuff like that so she can be hard to kill, but I think she just needs a rework to make her more balanced because her win rates are very low and something needs to change about her. I don't know. Something maybe with her skeletons. Um, but yeah, that's what I was thinking. And then next, of course, we got the other five elixir card that needs a rework, which is the wizard. Such a horrible card. Arguably the worst card in the game. The win rates are down in the basement with this card like um it's just horrible and yes it can get a lot of value because of that splash damage um but at the same time it's just such a risky card for five elixir because you can easily kill it with like two three elixir any little three elixir melee unit like knight you know valkyrie could easily kill the wizard for a positive elixir trade and it's just not worth it sometimes there's so many better cards that does what wizard does but for less elixir you know magic archer hunter um ice wizard electro wizard even them you know uh are better options but yeah a rework would really help this card um find its spot in the game because it's just horrible and only does good like on low ladder obviously but once you move up the ladder, this card just becomes less and less viable. And then we got some honorable mentions here. We got a nerf to the Lava Hound. I think it's super strong. One of the strongest decks in the game. It's very tanky, so maybe an HP nerf. Then we got a rework to the Clone. Um, this card has one of the worst win rates in the game, but I don't think a buff would be good. Because imagine a Clone dominant meta. That would just be terrifying. I think a rework would really be fun to just make this card a little different because it's obviously horrible and then a buff to the furnace because it all it also has one of the worst worst win rates in the game and i think like goblin hunt and like barbarian hunt it should also deserve a buff um i don't like spawners but you gotta be fair here you know it's just such a bad card so i think a buff would wouldn't be bad so that's it for my video thanks for watching i hope super saw takes these suggestion, suggestions into consideration and yeah especially the hog rider one because it's getting annoying at this point and repetitive every video i have to say nerf hog rider but you know it's gonna happen one day so yeah thanks for watching